Hector the Horrid. Thomas the Tank Engine enjoyed shunting troublesome trucks. He could biff them harder and faster than any other engine. It's one of his favorite jobs. One morning, Sir Topham Hatt had an important announcement. James and Edward must make extra deliveries of coal, he boomed. Thomas, you must shunt and fill freight cars at the coaling plant. James and Edward, you must collect them this afternoon. Thomas was very pleased. Just then, Bill and Ben chuffed by. Between them was a big black truck. It biffed and bashed the little engines. What are you two doing, tooted Thomas. Bill and Ben told them that they were delivering the truck to the coaling plant. Why does it need two engines to deliver one truck, tooted Thomas. Because he really doesn't like to be shunted, chuffed Ben. His name is Hector, huffed Bill, but we call him Hector the Horrid. Bill and Ben chuffed slowly away with Hector. He does look troublesome, huffed James. Troublesome trucks don't bother me, boasted Thomas. I can biff him firmly into place. Later, Thomas chuffed into the coaling plant. And there was Hector. The other trucks giggled and laughed. <laughs> Big, bad, strong and solid, that truck's name is Hector the Horrid, they sang. Thomas puffed slowly closer. Keep warning! He roared. Bill and Ben were right, thought Thomas. Hector is scary, and Hector is horrid. So Thomas decided to keep away. Thomas spent all morning shunting the other freight cars and filling them with coal. But all the time, Thomas could feel Hector the Horrid watching him. The coaling plant manager came to see Thomas. We need an extra large delivery, he said, so Rosie is coming to help you. You must shunt and fill Hector, then add him to the back of James's train, he told Thomas. Then later, Rosie puffed into the yard. She saw Hector. Wow, do we have to shunt and fill that big truck, Thomas? She asked sweetly. Yes, puffed Thomas, but he doesn't want to be shunted. His name is... But before Thomas could finish, Hector opened his mouth and let out the biggest roar ever. Keep away! He bellowed. Rosie was so surprised she shaked from funnel to footplate, and she steamed straight out of the yard. This made Thomas cross. Hector had biffed and bashed Bill in bed. He shouted at Thomas, and he had frightened Rosie so much she puffed away. Now the extra delivery will never be ready. Thomas had had enough. He puffed bravely in front of Hector and gave him a mighty biff. Hector rolled backwards. He was very cross. Keep away! He roared. No, I won't, tooted Thomas crossly. You are causing confusion and delay. You really are horrid. Then, with one mighty biff, Thomas has sent Hector rolling backwards into a set of buffers. Then Hector crashed off the tracks. Then Thomas had felt very bad. He hadn't meant to knock Hector over. Then, Thomas puffed up to Hector. Hector laid on his side looking very sad. Now he didn't seem so horrid. I'm sorry I biffed you so hard, wished Thomas. But why don't you want to be shunted? Because I'm scared, moaned Hector. Why, asked Thomas. I'm new, he groaned, and I'm scared because I've never been filled with coal before. I don't even know what it feels like. That's why I didn't want to be shunted, he added. Thomas was surprised. 
Later, Rocky and the workmen arrived and lifted Hector back onto the tracks. And Thomas wanted to help Hector. Sometimes I'm scared when I have to do something new, chuffed Thomas. But coal isn't scary. Hector watched as Thomas rolled under the coal. Black, dusty coal poured into Thomas's coal box. When the dust clears, Hector saw that Thomas was smiling. See? It's not scary, tooted Thomas proudly. Now Hector was excited. I'd like to be filled with coal too, he rumbled. We must hurry, puffed Thomas. Thomas puffed Hector quickly under the coal hopper. Then Hector was quickly filled with coal. It felt wonderful. Then once they were done, Thomas quickly shunted Hector into place, just in time. Then James and Edward puffed into the yard. Then they saw their waiting trains. James was very surprised to see Hector at the back. Well done, Thomas! snorted James. Their trains were soon coupled up. James and Edward puffed away for their special deliveries. They were very surprised to hear Thomas whistle. Good luck! But the whistle wasn't for them. It was Thomas tooting to his new friend, Hector the Not Horrid at all.